and four. How many are there of each suit? Yeah, hundred and something. Nah. <laughs> I think it's turned by my four is a hundred and something. She's before this. No, there's still there's four. I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. What's your two side? She wasn't listening. No, I wasn't. She said listening. two divided by four. 50, oh, two divided. Oh, 52, 52 divided by four. I didn't even hear her either. <laughs> I do a lot of probability with cards. I teach the kids why you should never gamble because the probability is against you. Yes, it <laughs> exactly. It's big time against you. So. And I also teach them how every statistic you're going to see is going to apply. Uh, why you can't gamble. Oh, there it is. Okay, you okay. start looking. Okay, right, good oh, morning. What? Thank you. 
And if you don't have it, well, you know, you can I do something that you don't want to do? <laughs> Alrighty. I'm finished. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right. How's it going today? Oh, that's a cute little face. That is cute. You're an artist, girly, girly, girly. What kind of, what does this mean? Luxurious? <laughs> that's cute. No more sequins? I'm still working. 30, 60 seconds. Oh gosh, man. <laughs> 60 seconds. You put all the ones that you can't sequence and put them in a pile? You put them in a pile. Mm -hmm. Can there be two sequences? Like Good. one piece? Well, let's go three sequences. Oh, then I'm done. Okay. <laughs> so it's Jack King Queen. Jack, King, Queen, Queen Jack, Jack. King, Queen Jack, or, or Jack, Queen, King. Doesn't matter. Isn't that sequence? Okay, you that got sucks. 20, 25, 20, 15. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, put your card down. Okay. So, what were your thoughts behind that? What do you think about if I have all my sequences are true, or if they're in sequence? Do you believe me or do you not believe me? Well. I believe because they don't need to be a lie as teachers. But <laughs> I also. But there's a big but in there. <laughs> I also don't. So, okay. I want you to. I want to flip mine over and then I want to see yours because I honestly think you did the right thing. Okay. Here I go. Is that a sequence? No. Mm -hmm. That's not a sequence. That's not a sequence. That's not a sequence. And here I had a sequence and I didn't even see it right there. But that's besides the point. Now, is this a sequence? Are these sequences? Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. How about this one? Mm -hmm. How about that one? So I lied to you. I cheated. I tricked you. I cheated. Because oh. I wanted you to believe that I don't cheat. Okay, let me see about yours. Okay, Nevaeh? Yeah, this one. Oh, I didn't put it in order, but. That's okay. Seven, eight, nine. There you go. Nice job. That's a sequence. Two, three, four. Right. Ace, king, queen. And then eight, nine, ten. Cool. How about you, Miss Grace? Two, three, four, <laughs> seven, eight, nine. Good. Nice. Six, seven, eight. Okay. Ace, king, queen. Cool. And then the last one is three, four, five. So, Nevaeh got four and you got five and I only had three sets. <laughs>
and I cheated. <laughs> and I cheated because I wanted you guys to think that I had more sex than you did. So that I trusted you to be honest, right? And you guys played the game too darn well, too darn well. Okay, because you know, in 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 ga card games, excuse me, honey, um, like when people go to Las Vegas. Who knows if those people cheat, you know, cheat up a storm. We, can, we, we cheat in games, do we not? Sometimes, do you know of anybody that cheats in a game? Yeah. Yeah, you can fold the, the cards. So this is what we're going to be learning about. Oh. Cheating. Cheating. Oh, no, the heart's sad. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it is a sad thing when, when you find somebody uh, that cheats okay and so tell me what what do you know about cheating it's not fun not fun for the other people okay usually people notice when you do it so what's the point yeah. they know that how do they notice that you that you're cheating how would they know in a sport. Oh, that's in, a good one. In card games. Okay. People will sometimes hide them like under the table or in your clothing. Okay. You okay. see, you can sometimes see that. So you hide them when you're playing a game. You hide your yeah. card cards. And, and, and Nevaeh, you had a good one about sports. A lot of um, coaches yeah. will try and do stuff. Be seen sneaky to their players when they're really not. That happened to a volleyball game. Um, sneaky for you guys to do for to do no, to the other. The other oh. team was. Oh, cheating! Mm -hmm. Cheating! Yeah, that happens a lot in sports, which I don't think we realize. But I think parents do, but they don't do anything about it. They just allow it to happen, and. Um, even Christians allow it to happen, you know, instead of honestly going and dealing with it, they don't do it. So how easy or difficult is it to cheat? It's pretty easy. I mean, I would say. Yeah, I mean, easy in some games. It's hard in others. Yeah. Now, tell me in, in your setting, give me some examples of cheating. In your setting, at your age, at your time here. Um, so like, uh, again, at volleyball practice. At your at your sport. Yeah. Um, there's these girls that when like the coach is off or not, or uh, not. They, um, like. Uh, Paying attention, I guess. When, like, like, we'll be doing some kind of exercise or uh -huh. something, and, um, like, they'll, I don't know, they'll just not do it, I guess. They'll just say, they act like they were doing it when the teacher turns around, when the uh, coach turns around, and they then they start doing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, you know, that is true. Uh, uh, yeah. You know what? I cheated in uh, when I did aerobics. I didn't want to do a certain kind of, and I, you know, the instructor was, her, her body was turning around, and so I was laying there, and I'm going, I'm not doing these sit-ups. So I just laid there. <laughs> and then when she turned, I just started doing them. Who's that cheating, really? It's me. Yeah. It's me, because I'm not getting the benefits of the exercise. So I'm not hurting her, I'm hurting myself, right? Okay, mm -hmm. how about when you guys, uh, have you ever thought of, maybe you guys never have, but do you think other kids in school, when there's a test, what what do you think um, could happen during a test time? Cheating. What? Yeah, how, how, how does that happen? How would that happen? Like how would they cheat? Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, like, that's an old, old time one. 
they did it for, I, I knew kids that did it when I was in school. And I didn't know that. I was so naive. I didn't. I, when I found out that, I'm going, why didn't, well, I didn't think, now that I'm saying, why didn't I think about that? <laughs> but I did it. You know, my mind wasn't there, I guess. So anyway, um, Faith, you were going to say something? That's a good one. A lot of people were like, write stuff down and they, or they look around at other people's things right they, or they strain the computer. their eye computer a lot of tests are on the computer and they share that information or they just like look around you know what's happening today in schools go ahead go oh, oh well this is like one that I thought of, but mm -hmm. there was um, this thing on Pinterest that I was looking at, uh -huh. and it said that, well, the guy was like, so my teacher used to teach us Morse code, and they were taking a test one time, and um, two of the students were looking at each other and blinking and using Morse, Morse code. code. So now, give me, that's so smart. No, yeah, really, but see, you know who, who else can benefit, too, is I'm going to put this cheating here. I'm going to leave cheating here. No, I'm not. This is how, how do you think phones play in the, oh, at my mom's school, she's not allowed to take the children. Phones. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And how did they, how would they use these phones? Look it up, text friends. Text, by texting. Yeah. Texting. And calculators. And emailing. On email addresses. At my mom's school, the kids cheat with the calculators. Yeah. They're supposed to have them. calculators. Yeah, calculators. Calculators. Yeah. Yeah. And, and you know, for you guys today, that is so easy. And and the thing is, is who's 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 that harming? You. Yeah, you. It's not harming anybody else. You know what? Because you know what? When you do cheating at your age or any age, little little kids know how to cheat too. Yeah. Okay? Oh, yeah. They do know how to cheat. Okay? That's how. See, after Adam and Eve fell into sin, guess what? Sin was big time in the world. Right? Mm -hmm. And see, our minds are always off that target remember that target that i showed you it never hits the bullseye of doing the right thing never okay it only does remember pastor said it too today in the in the scriptures you i think did you hear it the bullseye is you are is is um who's the bullseye Jesus. Yeah. This target should always go this way, always. He comes to us. We don't go to him. We just receive everything. But this target here, when did Jesus take upon the sins of the world? Which is cheating, having clickies. What else did we learn? Um, like, we uh, accountability, yeah. outcast, all those he took upon on what the cross. Yeah, the cross. Mm -hmm. You got to remember that. Are you okay? No, but you got Simon. I don't know. <laughs> got it. Yeah. So, tell me. When you guys learn in catechism, because you're learning right now, where are you in catechism? What where, what are you learning? Fourth position. I mean, fifth. Oh, wait. Fourth position? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, so from the commandments, what, what commandment do you think cheating falls under? Uh, think about it. Think real cheating. 
You want to go over the commandments? Um, How about you shall not covet? That's very true. That's the you other one. Steal? Yes, that one too. Covet and steal. Because who are you? Who are you um, stealing from? Yeah, your neighbor. Okay, so you shall not covet your neighbor's whatever. Okay, that's ninth and tenth commandment. See, all these commandments play into practicality. But get well, you just answered. How does God work in the world for you to to not speak? In thought, word, and deed. How does he help you not to do cheating, seeing people as outcast? How does how well, does one and 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 Pastor talked about it today? There's three persons. That are one, that equal one. Who is who who is the person that helps you in thought, word, and deed? The father are one. Are one. Are one. What's the next one? Son. The son. Is one. Or they're all are one. They're all all one. And who's the last one? Yeah. See guys, even if you cheat, your hearts know. And tell me how your hearts know again. And and who allow who 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 what is within your, <laughs> in this, what's within this? Jesus. And, and how did you, sin? yes, but how oh. does, how does this heart convict you? Convict? Yeah, how does it convict what you? What does conviction mean? Commit is like you're guilty of every single commandment. You you, you uh, are guilty like if you were in a jury in in a, in a trial and you sat and you were the person that cheated. Okay, you were caught cheating at your job, mm -hmm. and the witnesses were all the witnesses. Okay, the the uh, jury uh, jurist. And the judge was sitting here. Who do you think the judge is? Jesus. In, in the Jesus. Okay. Yeah. So think of the judge as Jesus, and think of the jury as the um, prosecutors. Okay. They're making a judgment upon you because they're de they they decided together you were guilty or not guilty. But guess who made the ultimate, ultimate decision that you weren't guilty? The judge. The judge. See, and he's the only one. That's how you can remember this, that when you think in thought, word, and deed, Jesus went to the cross, guys. Okay? Because what did he do? about the commandments he died for our sins well he followed them he fulfilled them for you and pastor says all the good things you do it's not on you it's him you can keep doing them keep doing them but you're going to be a hamster 
You know what a hamster does? I'm a hamster? He keeps going around and around and around and around until he gets so darn tired that he, what, what happens to a hamster when he stops on that wheel? I guess sleep. Yeah. So like yeah. yeah. They get exhausted, okay? You guys, see, we don't have to work at anything we would want, we should want to not cheat. We shouldn't uh, think others of outcast or, or uh, what was the other one? What was the other one? Anxiety, you shouldn't have anxiety. I mean, you're gonna have them, you're gonna have them, but we don't, you know, the Lord always says, your burdens are my burdens, see? And cheating is also if we don't trust that God will help you through the day. How many of do you guys ever think about that, that God is with you during the day at school? How many do you think about that? Yeah, yeah. Every day in my life, I have always thought, you know, man, if, if I didn't have Jesus, well, I would, I, I would be anxietous. And I would not want to be around people. I wouldn't care about anybody. You know, that's our heart. See, we don't want to do what's right in the eyes of God. So tell me, in this lesson of cheating, how does God show you that cheating is not right in any fashion of your life? See, when you when I got married, guess what? What do you what do you think I did when I got married? Did I get married uh, by reciting um, the Pledge of Allegiance? No. What do you think I did? You went to the church and got married by pastor. Yes. And I found. But, Oh, vows, no. yes. Vows to who? Pastor oh, God first. Oh, yeah. Husband. <laughs> and then to others. Others. Because my life isn't just my life. It's to others. But this is the this is the sequence. And so I took vows. And so under the under the there's a word under, under, I'm going to put under, okay, this under. is under. <laughs> I'm going to spell it. Okay. La, <laughs> la. Under the law. <laughs> this was part of it. Because when you put two people together, when you put two people together, guess what? What? Do you always do what's right? No. No. Does mommy and daddy always not cheat the IRS? What's the IRS? Huh? <laughs> That's uh, paying taxes. The amount of taxes that you have to pay. Okay. No. You'll learn that when you get older, when, you know, parents get married, you know, some people say, I'm not going to write this down because they, uh, the government doesn't need to know this. Well, you know, we're supposed to remember what Jesus said, render things that are to Caesar. And, and uh, that's what we do as, as, as um, Christians. Um, you'll learn that. I won't go into it, but, but so taking vows is, 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 always under the law okay but when you hear the word of god what happens to the heart it opens yeah 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 you're right yes and there's a word that that always fosters you adopt yeah, see, you're going to, you, that's a good word. Because you know who adopted you? God. Yeah. And when did he do that? When we were baptized. Yeah. Very good. That baptized, baptism. When we were baptized. And, 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 the, and the word, 
And, and so when you were baptized and your mom and dad brought you to baptism, there's always someone working in your heart. Always. Always. You know who that is? Jesus. And, and there's the person that you should. Holy yes, the Holy Spirit. Okay. He's kind of like an undercover man, but he's always there. Okay, helping you. I want you to go to John, first John, first John one, eight through nine. Okay, first John, that's in the old New Testament. First John. And I want you to see it. I want you to uh, uh, help me understand who, who this is talking to. And first John is after after second Peter. Yeah. Second Peter. Second Peter. It's in the very back. What what page so 1020. Okay. One thousand and twenty. Thank you. One thousand and twenty. Okay. All right. So what is it? Read it out loud. Okay. So it's oh, it's first John one eight through nine. Okay. I gotta find it. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just will forgive us no, to forgive yeah. us our sins and cleanse us from all. Okay, so is he talking to believers or unbelievers here? Both. Both, yeah. Yeah, both. Yeah, so if we don't confess our sins, what happens? You die. You don't, you, well, you yeah. do die. You yeah. do die, but if you don't, what do they, what's this word that they call when, if you don't ask for forgiveness, it starts with R. Repent. Yes! Repent and tell me what that means. Oh, no, repent. Ask for forgiveness for your sins. Yeah. Maybe see, to... see, we're beginning. We're beginning Ash Wednesday. Okay, that's a time of our life that we're sorry. We to be sad, sorry for all that we've done wrong. Right. That's Ash Wednesday helps us helps us to 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 fully understand what this is all about in life. Okay, <laughs> repentance. So, okay. Um. So tell me if you guys aren't repentant, do you think? What if you always lived in unrepentance? It's the opposite of the repentance. If you always lived. Out of repent, unre, uh, repentance. Um, How would you live? Not good. Sad. Yeah. And and and, and 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 think about cheating. You probably cheat like all the time. Yeah, you cheat in life. You know, you would be not. Who cares if I take somebody else's property? Who cares if I take my girlfriend's earrings on her on her on her dresser she will never know she has so much okay or 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 when you go to school and you get together and you go well i can't do this homework and she says well here just copy my stuff oh, that happens a lot. Yep. yeah see you constantly don't know what to do is right when you constantly have unrepentant hearts and people that don't know Jesus, you know, I was thinking about you guys. I always think about you. It's unbelievable because I don't have kids at home anymore, but no, you're my kids for right now, for this moment. I always pray that God would give you the strength and the will to, to, to not have the evil foe always, you know, because you guys are going to be so, you're so, I don't know your friends. I don't know who, who they are. I don't know who your classmates are. I don't know where their hearts are. But I always pray that God puts the, the holy angels around you. Do you know that Martin Luther prayer? I thank thee, my heavenly father, through Jesus Christ, your dear son, 
that you've graciously kept me this night from every evil, from all that all my doings, my, doings, my life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul and all things. Let thy holy angels be with me, that the evil evil will have no power over me. Yeah. And see, you guys, that's what, what, what God wants you to know, that the evil foe can never, he'll tempt you, but he can't get to you, okay? He's bound, he, he's bound, see? You can always say, get behind me, Satan, like Peter did when he was in the garden with Jesus, or he was in the garden, but he was with Jesus, and Jesus was going to the cross, and Peter said, Oh no, Lord! You can't. I you. I won't let you go die. And guess what? Jesus told Peter, "Get behind me, Satan," because he wasn't thinking of what Jesus had taught him. I have to go to the cross. I have to be resurrected, and I have to ascend to heaven. Peter didn't understand that. You guys will understand that the more you learn. Okay, you will learn that. See. Satan always wants you to deny what's in the word. Just what you read here. If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves, but the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sin, he is faithful and just. Who's faithful and just to you? God. Yeah, God. And he will forgive us our sin. Yes, you do. Yes, we do. And he will purify. And remember, you guys, even though you're going to sin, you are, you have the robe. Pastor said it today. Of righteousness. Yes, robe of righteousness. And that you were given at baptism. That's when you were given that. Okay. We just forget the gifts. Guess what we forget every time? Promise. Uh, Promises of God. Yes, of God. Everything's a gift to us, and we just throw them away easily. See? Okay? All right. So this trash is a gift? Everything that you have you you have provided for you is a gift. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So so when when you when you guys realize he wants to you to recognize every moment of the day your sinful nature. What's your sinful nature? Remember, it's always missing that target. Yes, yes, because yes. the target always wants to go this way, not this way. Okay, all right. Okay, so. Let's have some fun today. Play some cards. Finish with, okay? Now, but we'll play an easier game. But, so, tell me again, is cheating an act of unrepentance? Yeah. Is it a forgiven? Is it a for, is it a forgiven action? Yeah. Yeah. How do you know that? Okay. I want you to turn to Proverbs twelve seventeen. Proverbs. That's Old Testament. And and this one you can remember by heart. See, this is a good, that's a good one. It's a good one, okay? And Nevaeh, when you get there, you may read it to us. Proverbs 12, 17. Uh, oh, 12, Whoever speaks the truth gives honest evidence, but false witness others deceive. So tell me. Does that sound like a good thing or a bad thing? It sounds bad if you're lying. 
What's your line for good cause, though? But there's never a good, you never lie for a good cause. But like, what is give me an example. Somebody, okay. Give me an example. So like, somebody's down there, and what if someone wants to like go hurt them? And then you lie about where they are so they can't get hurt. Yeah, you're like, they're in Middle East Asia instead of they're in Russia. <laughs> <laughs> uh, find another example. <laughs> what if that one works? Say it again. Say it again. <laughs> Say that again. Loudly. So, yes. Like, somebody comes up to you and they're, and you're, and they're like, where is this person? I want to go chop their head off. Where's Bob? <laughs> yeah, where's Bob? And you say, Bob is in Texas. <laughs> and he's not in Russia. <laughs> yeah, he's not in Russia anymore. <laughs> Bob uh, left Russia. <laughs> and then they want to, they go to Texas to try and hurt Bob. But Bob's not there. Once they come back for you. You run away <laughs> to Russia. <laughs> so, so you're telling me that you would be okay with what you told this person? Yeah, I don't want them well, to hurt Bob. Exactly. Okay, so tell me, who do you think is in control of that whole situation? Me. No. 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 What? Wait. Who is in control of that? God. Whole yes. So and do you oh. think that you're saying a lie is going to help this person that's not where he's at? Not Well, really. am I going to tell him Bob's in Russia? And then, and then he goes and kills Bob. Bob. And bombs Bob. But how do you bombs. know that? How do you know that the Lord will not allow that to happen? Well, God, why? <laughs> why are we bombing Bob? <laughs> not illegitimate. <laughs> not even. Not even. No. 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 <laughs> see. See. You don't. You don't. You don't kind of like uh, trick God into. You know. Well, we aren't tricking God. We're but, tricking the guy who wants. Bomb, bomb. I know, exact bomb bomb. Yeah, but still, you know, that does that make sense? I mean, think about it. Yeah. No, it doesn't make sense. You're 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 like, you're not yeah. helping Bob because Bob is gone, and Bob, who knows where oh, Bob, Bob may Bob be? Live. <laughs> like, we want Bob to live, not die. But he might live. We don't know. That's up to God. <gasps> but what if the dude? Bombs in. So, so what? Is, okay, back to cheating. Back to cheating. Okay, yes. Did you know that you pass a murderer thirty six times in your lifetime? Probably. Probably. And it's Are you a murderer? Back because they don't murder you. They just kind of walk past you. Hi, I want to There's probably a lot of murderers out there. Yeah. A lot of them. Lot of them. Like we Aaron just don't know. Okay, so guys, if you guys have a, if you're, if you do. If you do a good witness, guess who's going to be honored? Yeah. God. God. Yep. And you will. And you and people will be will trust you and will trust you with their whole hearts so, and souls. There's not many okay. people that you can trust with their hearts, so with their you, hearts and souls. Like save Bob. People will trust you with your location. <laughs> you did it. We won't, we won't go there. We won't go there. Yeah, and then Bob comes back to um, it honors we God. Located. He honors God because you did a good thing. And yeah, we're in Middle East Asia. Yeah, he's just like, and he's in Russia. So <laughs> Yeah, we just go visit Bob and he's like, <laughs> he's like receiving my voice. Here's I'm going to go honor God because he, he really put you in my life. Yeah, right, Save right. For being good, good deal. Here's, <laughs> here's, some, here's some statistics that I found out. Statistics. You know how many high school students let others copy their homework How what's much? the percentage 80 percent no close 97 percent of high school yes. kids that's in a psychology it. magazine that was written. i'm not okay. surprised here's another one how many college to students admit to cheating at least once college students 99 percent 100 you're close 80 percent oh, why did i see but see see how the oh, see how the bullseye is always going the opposite way it never wants to do what the heart is supposed to do so we're not supposed to save bob 
We won't go with that. Okay, so, all right, let's finish with prayer. And do you guys have anything to pray about for the school? Nope. About Miss Almond's mom. Who? Miss Almond's mom is in hospital. Yes, yes, she's been there for a while. Okay. Well, anybody else? Mr. Barchuk's friend Shelly to get better. Shelly. Okay. I haven't heard about Shelly. You want to pray that? You want to pray for that? You pray for And then you pray for Mrs. Okay. okay. I'll open and you and 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 uh, we'll go from there. Okay. Just a second. All right. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time to learn about um, that you forgive us for all our our uh, thinking about using the seventh commandment and the ninth and tenth commandment of coveting other people's um, things. We ask that you be with us as we pray our petitions to you, as we listen to Nevaeh pray, pray uh, for her friend. Dear Jesus, please be with Mr. Barker's friend Shelly. Shelly and help her to uh, get better and to uh, yeah, feel better. Miss Almond's mom, who is in hospice care, we just want Miss Almond to be able to spend as much time as she can with her, and it's in a world who understands it. Dear Jesus, we ask that you be with the girls that are here today. Bless them this week. Help them in their schoolwork and be in their lives all the, all the days of their life, dear Lord. And we ask your precious name to, to uh, bless us and keep us safe this week. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right. You guys have a... Let me... What is 1,000? What is 1,000 minus 7? <laughs> what is 1,000 minus 7? I know. There's an anime reference. I don't know which anime it's from, but I remember it. Good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did I stop this, you girl? I have no idea. Uh, oh, no. Maybe you did Bob one? Let's see. <laughs> stop video. <laughs> Uh, go to end. Oh, if you press end for all. Oh, it's not working. Oh, click the pause or stop button. Right here. Uh, Maybe you have to click in the. Oh, there, 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 there. 